Well, Josh, guess what? We're on episode 21 of season 2 of TNG, which means TNG season 2 is legal. Cheers to that. But the last episode was possibly one of the best ever, so I'm already nervous for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, this is our last episode of the season that we're watching in this format, because as of filming this, uh, we are going to be doing the live reaction to the season finale next week. Now, by the time this is up on YouTube, that would have already happened, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That will have, of course, the edited YouTube reaction coming as well. Because of that, it kind of feels like this is the season finale, even though it's not, just because we're so used to watching it like this. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be weird uh, watching it, because the last time I watched like uh, a season two ending live, it was horrible <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, i'm really gonna like savor this moment of uh this format it, like it, it feels like we're saying goodbye to seasons one and two which are like the bad seasons everyone says but i feel like these two seasons have been charming and i'm like i'm i'm almost like scared to let them go and like move on to three to seven which are like apparently the best thing ever but it's like I, i'm gonna miss this charming era of like bad Star Trek, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like its own show in a way, yeah, but we're yeah. just basing that purely off of what people have said. Like right, we have right. no actual evidence of that. Yeah, yeah. But based on what people have said, it, it feels like that. But all right, let's see what this one has to offer before the finale. I have agreed to Starfleet's request that the Enterprise take part in a war game exercise. Joining us as observer and mediator is the Zakdorn master strategist, Sirna Kolrami. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. See, that guy's face is how I look. That was an interesting shot, I guess. Good face makeup. For over nine millennia, potential foes have regarded the Zakdorns as having the greatest innately strategic minds in the galaxy. So no one is willing to test that perception in combat. Exactly. Oh, okay, that's interesting. He is still your first choice. Commander Riker will captain the Hathaway. Oh. Uh, captain Picard, it is my understanding that you initially resisted Starfleet's uh, request for this simulation. Yes. Yeah, we don't have time for this. With the Borg threat, I decided that my officers and I needed to own our tactical skills. I think it's a waste of effort to test our combat skills. It's a minor province in the makeup of a starship captain. Hmm. That's a very interesting stance. Mr. Kolrami, when I agree to do something, I do it. Do you care to surrender now, Captain? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he prosecuted his friend. This guy, like, hurts to look at. It's like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, that family guy. I mean, oh, I, I can't look at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, I mean, good job on the makeup, I guess, if that's what you were going for. Yeah, this species is so good at combat to the point where they don't even get challenged to combat. That's what it sounded like, yeah, which I like that idea. Like, oh, everyone respects him so much that they've kind of gotten out of shape and lazy because no one's going to challenge him. So Worf was like, these guys aren't swole. You know, these guys, you're, look at yeah. these. Yeah, it's like. But Data was kind of like, be careful, like, not what they appear. I mean, Worf has said before when he was like, it's just a shell or whatever, like the body. Well, number one, you are allowed a compliment of 40, so select whom you will. Save, of course, Mr. Data, who will serve as my first officer during your absence. I had envisioned you defining the crew. He's like, what did you say? If you want to judge leadership, why not start at the beginning? Very well, Captain. Mm. My, what a charmer. Doctor. Captain, he needs an attitude adjustment. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Another millimeter. That's it, a little more. There. That's excellent. I think we need a Jordy episode. Hell yeah. It's like he started off as my favorite character, and it's like, not, it's not his fault, but it's like they just don't do anything with him. Aw. Aw. Come on. Enter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's his buddy, too. My fault, Warf. Oh, wait, are these Warf's quarters? Have we seen Warf's quarters? I don't think so. It's always in the dark. Am I disturbing you? He had a hobby. Oh. The Hathaway's most sophisticated weapon system, even in a computer mock-up, can't hope to defeat the Enterprise. What else have you got? 
guile. Join me. The honor is to serve. I'm glad it warps the first one he uh, recruits. And what is Worf doing his free time? He makes little uh, model boats. With your permission, I would like acting Ensign Crusher on board for education oh, observation. Well, there he is. Yes, take him. Go ahead. I will say maybe it's because he just hasn't been here, but honestly, candidate for like most improved for season one to season two. Like, oh, he hasn't annoyed me at all. Yeah, they've te definitely taken some notes. <laughs> but you have got a chance. Ah, are you even going to bother to show up? Sure. Kalrami is the best ever at Stratagema. Just to get to play him is a privilege. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> a little long take there. But... Yeah, <laughs> needed that extra couple seconds in the wrong time. We just completely revamped our target demographic tier on our Patreon, and it now includes a ton of great benefits for our patrons. And one of them is a movie lottery that we're holding every month. By becoming a member of the target demographic tier on our Patreon, you will get an entry in that lottery. And every month we'll be choosing that movie to watch and post full uncut on Patreon. So if there's a non-Star Trek movie out there that you want us to watch, join the target demographic tier on our Patreon and let us know what movie that is. And also enjoy all the other great benefits of that tier, like your name in the credits of our videos, downloadable versions of our uncut reactions, regular participation in our videos through patron takes and top episode lists, and more. Go check it out. Alex and Josh. I'm really sorry I sounded like a salesman in this video. You know, it is what it is. Don't hate the player, hate the game, you know? I have wagered heavily in the ship's pool that you will take him past the sixth plateau. Are <laughs> they taking bets on this? Yeah. And if I don't, I will be irritated. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna owe me some money. Way to put the pressure on him right before. Come on, you got him, you got him, you got him. Watch him now, watch him. On the bus, on the bus. There you go, you go, you go. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's it? I'm afraid so. But you only made 23 moves. Mm. A weight team assembled and ready to transport, Commander. Oh, I thought they were getting through that quickly to actually have Data face them, but I guess not. Maybe later. Maybe that'll be the ending scene. You can turn the lights on. Or is this part of the simulation? You gotta fix the ship. There should be some emergency bridge lighting here. This looks like the same ship set from uh, the Picard Headache episode. Ah, uh, you're wrong, Mr. Worf. It's fantastic. And it's ours. Mr. Worf! This could have been a great, like, opportunity nod to have, like, the original TOS set of the original Enterprise. Wow. Oh! The boats and whistle. I want hourly progress reports from all stations. Riker out. <laughs> He's so happy to have a challenge. I love it. Could this happen? Could an old ship really take down the current Enterprise? But what about the... <laughs> <laughs> but if Dan was hallucinating, who ate house food? Beyond belief is just stuck in my brain. <laughs> nice job, Jordy. I gotta say, that's one of the coolest designed ships, I think. It's like the original Enterprise with like the two uh, lower like uh, handles, but there's like there's two on top and the bottom. It's yeah. kind of cool looking. Even if we had crystals that were intact, there's no antimatter to fuel the drive. Any recommendation? No, sir. We haven't got a prayer. Would you like to transfer back to the Enterprise, Mr. Crusher? Oh, I heard him. <sighs> no, sir. Remember, our purpose is to improvise. It's the effort that counts. Oh, you know he's so embarrassed. Oh, yeah, God, it's like. Well, Dr. Pulaski informed me of your desire to play a game of strategy. But I express no such interest. No. Come on. Play against a machine. Why should I wish to? I don't blame you. It's no fun going into a game when you know you're going to lose. But I wouldn't lose. <laughs> it's your reputation that's on the line. He's like, okay, I guess. It's like, I really care about this, bro. <laughs> we may be able to convince the sensors that an enemy ship is approaching. Their instruments would lie to them. <laughs> but what about the view screen? Okay, I'm glad she said something. Yeah, just waiting for a okay, cue. Okay. I thought it was like one of those like extras who were just trying so hard to like <laughs> get their face in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, this is a classic fucking uh, Scotty shot. 
We should be able to do something with these dilithium fragments we scavenged. Now, do you think they're going to do something uh, cool, like with uh, Kirk, like changing the rules to win the uh, Kobayashi Maru test? I wonder because, like, if Riker wins, that would not look good for Picard. So I am kind of curious. True. Where am I going to get the opti cable? Anywhere. <laughs> Because, you know, Riker is basically, you know, young Kirk, right? That's the whole mm -hmm. gimmick. So it's like if he did something similar, it makes sense. I left an experiment running back on the Enterprise. May I go back and shut it down? Is that important? Well, it has to be monitored. And it is my final grade in plasma physics. Oh, he's going to cheat. He's going to go over and grab something from the Enterprise. Uh, Do you have any objection? He should be escorted and have no contact with anything save his research. But this guy knows. He's like... They're gonna try to cheat. I'm surprised he doesn't escort him the entire way himself. I saw no sense in Riker choosing him anyway. Just a non commissioned child. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this. It's a good lesson not to let excitement cloud your judgment. Yeah. <laughs> this is ruined. That's too bad. Look, uh, is this going to take much longer? I'll beam it off the Enterprise and leave it particleized. That's fine. Let's just do it. All right, I'll transfer the coordinates to the transporter. This guy's my new favorite. <laughs> Work. <laughs> I can't get over how cool this ship looks. Yeah, it's pretty great. I like how Jordy, you know, wouldn't hear the beam in right next to him. Is that sound effect just for us? Does it not really happen in universe? In the present context, what did she mean by... Bust him up. I'm going to feel bad for him if he loses. Like, he didn't want any, any part you of this. You know Data's going to wreck him. Come on. You think so? Yes. Yes, yes go. Come on. Go. If he loses, I think Burke should get on the table. Oh, okay. Okay. I was wrong. How can you lose? You're supposed to be infallible. Obviously, I am not. No, now he's going to have a whole crisis. Great job, Pulaski. You have been nothing but denigrating and abusive of Commander Riker since coming aboard this ship. Now I would like some explanation. Bro's defending him. Is that even there? Only a fool would question Commander Riker's dedication to Starfleet and the men and women under his command. My interviews have revealed a man who displays circumstantially inappropriate joviality. Confuse style with intent. He is simply the finest officer with whom I have ever served. <laughs> His joviality is the means by which he creates that loyalty. And I will match his command style with your statistics anytime. I just love the crew defending each other to yeah. other people. I love it so much. Picard getting like offended. Because of he's like, you know, talking shit on his friend. Some of our greatest advances have come from analyzing failure. While it can be ego bruising... But, Counselor, I do not have an ego. Well, um... A loss can be disheartening. But, Counselor, I do not have a... Data. <laughs> this is good, seeing Counselor uh, Troy counsel someone who isn't, you know, yeah. a person with feelings. That's interesting. My deductions should be treated with skepticism. So that's why you haven't been on the bridge. The captain would be ill-advised to rely upon my judgment. Come on, dude. I think you're overreacting. I'm sure you're all right. I, however, am not sure. Well, good on him thinking there's something wrong with him as opposed to being like, oh, he definitely cheated. Right. Hand me the connector on the kit. What is that? you cheated no sir you told me to improvise assuming you can can you regulate the reaction <laughs> you ain't cheating you ain't trying yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh i love it okay yeah i didn't expect it to go like that okay that's good are we good you're better than good great brilliant it's gonna be fun carry on <laughs> uh i love it this is great you're saying we're going to stall the Hathaway? And the Enterprise will waltz right over and pulverize us. Uh, so it's high risk, high reward. Yeah. Yeah, I do really like this design. It's, just, it's awesome. You can tell they liked it too. That's why they're showing, <laughs> yeah, that's why they're showing it so going, much. Yeah. Command of Data is suffering from a profound loss of confidence. And that you believe that only I can restore the balance 
Yes, sir. A little development for uh, Pulaski here. I like it. I'm less than one hour away from a battle simulation. And I have to handhold an android. They know you're fine. <laughs> get on the bridge. Get, get to work. <laughs> I might make a mistake. Yes, you might. But that does not alter your duty to me and to this ship. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. I believe I understand, sir. And Data, will you leave your hesitation and self-doubt here in your quarters? That's great. That's why he's the captain. And also, it's like, e even if you might make a mistake, literally anybody else might make a mistake also. Yeah. You know? Just remember, Enterprise, Captain Riker's never lost. <laughs> Undefeated. Never lost. <laughs> There's only two people better than me, and I'm both of them. Full impulse power. Initiate Kuma Maneuver. Whoa! Why would they start out with such a recognizable ploy? He's teasing. He wants us to reveal our tactics on his terms. Mm. Mr. Warp, prepare your little surprise. Captain Romulan warship approaching fast from astern. Open a hailing frequency. I can't, sir. There's nothing there. <laughs> Disengage weapons and shields. Re-engage, modified beam. He's quite good. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare beams for photon mode. Bye bye, Hathaway. <laughs> I want both sides to win, but it's like yeah. Picard needs to win. He needs to. Yeah. There are no guarantees here, sir. There never are, Lieutenant. I'm going to trust your expertise. Secure your stations. It's like you'd think Riker, like they would get that close, but not win. Yes, you like know? super close. Sensors picking up a Ferengi warship closing at warp five. What? That's no ghost attacking the Enterprise. That's real. Oh, wait. Where are my weapons? Unavailable, sir. We cannot disengage the modified beams. The connections have been fused. Yeah, I wondered if that was a bad idea. Use their moment of indecision to escape. I have 40 crew members on board the Hathaway. Who should be sacrificed to save a thousand. Oh, God. I am ordering you to withdraw. I am the captain of this vessel. Your order is nullified. Dude, why well, I feel like this guy called the Ferengi, dude. Oh! <laughs> oh, they got a background, finally. Their heads got bigger. Why was your ship combative with another Federation vessel of lesser design? Well, it's not really any of your business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mind your own business. Surrender it to me, and I will allow your enterprise to leave on her. I can't believe they they returned. I honestly was convinced they were just dropped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like <laughs> what a horrible idea. We're never bringing these people back. There are no options. Retreat or die. This guy's horrible. Like, how did you get in your position? Just another classic Starfleet terrible person. He's a Nepo baby. He has years of the species <laughs> being good, and now they're all these, like, slugs. And he still thinks he's great. I mean, he did beat Data and Riker, but, you know. But that was a video game, Kim. We have a limited two-second warp capability. Impossible. That ship was rendered warp inactive. I told you he was the best. <laughs> <laughs> if the warp engines fail to function... The result could be unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We will be dead. <laughs> Thank you, Worf. I like similar to like a pro wrestling match between two super hot wrestlers. It's like, of course, it ends in a DQ or something. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, like they couldn't finish it. Yeah. <laughs> we, can't, we can't find out who's better, Riker. Or... On free TV? <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're going to have to buy the movie, for that. buy the pay per view for that one. Yeah. Classic run in. <laughs> they hit them both. Yeah. How can you stop us? You believe the Hathaway has value? We deny you your prize. Fire! A starship! Maximum shields! We have been outmaneuvered. Retreat. Worf took over their sensors and made it seem like another one was coming. I think so. Captain, our sensors show no Federation starship nearby. Of course not, Mr. Burke. That was Klingon Guile. <laughs> <laughs> My report to Starfleet will be most done. I don't give a shit about your report. He hit Burke on the back. <laughs> Lot of calls for the nearest starbase. 
it's so weird to see whoever those two dudes were. Yeah, they look like they've been in the game a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Usually you see like young up and comers up there. Yeah. I was hoping it would end with this. <laughs> oh. You have made a mockery of me. Oh, you sore loser, bitch. <laughs> Data, you beat him. No, sir. It is a stalemate. No game of Stratagema has ever gone this high. What did you do? I simply altered my premise for playing the game. Explain. Let's play defense. I should be able to challenge him indefinitely. Then you have beaten him. It is a matter of perspective, Doctor. Data. I busted him up. Yes! I busted him up. <laughs> How excellent. Oh, God, man. How excellent. Excellent. I always go in with, like, okay. Especially coming off a great episode, I yeah. always go in with, like, Okay, let's you reset everything. You know, yep. the sh you know, it's like this is all the early season, early two seasons, uh -huh. or whatever. But it's like, Shook, it's proving me wrong, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just the versatility of Star Trek. You know, it's like these two back-to-back -back episodes show exactly that. The last episode, of this one, nothing alike. Like completely different stories, plots, character work, mm -hmm. and both work excellently. Uh, this was another great episode, and this one, while focused on certain people, was pretty spread out. Like, it was focused on Riker, focused on Data, Worf had moments. We had the introduction of this Lieutenant Burke, who was a pretty cool guy. Yeah, it's like, who's that? It's like, <laughs> I love this guy. He had some, some great deadpan delivery that, you know, made me laugh out loud a couple times. I hope we see more of him. Yeah, I hope on. he comes back, yeah. So, it was kind of all spread around. I think I said earlier in this season, like, oh, I don't know what it would be like for an episode to not focus on a character and be everybody without just being a Picard episode. And I, I think this was it. Like, the first true example of just highlighting everybody all at once. I mean, even Troy, you know, getting those discussions with Data and having trouble trying to be a counselor to a robot. Yes, I love that. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, some points for Pulaski. I like how she's, like, concerned about, like, Data and, like, you know, how he's, like taking this loss and Picard comes in proving he's like the captain where he's like you know it's like you know sometimes you can do everything right and still lose and it's like you know what that's called it's called life and like and the fact that it's data especially after measure of a man I'm like yes god I love yeah. the show but god damn it and it was exactly yeah and it's like there was like an interesting plot through line stuff but it was somehow able to have a very engaging plot and give us all that character stuff with Data. Mm -hmm. And it didn't feel like it was stepping on each other. Like, it was very well done. The whole battle sequence was awesome. Uh, the shock of the Ferengi showing up, like, what the hell? That, that shocked me more than anything. So, yes, yeah, so they've been teasing, like, the Romulans for, like, this entire show. And, like, <laughs> uh, you kind of think the Ferengi are kind of, like, gone and forgotten. Like, oh, that was a bad mistake. But I was kind of excited to see them. And you're thinking for a second, like, oh, is this part of their plan? It's like, nope, they're actually there. It's like, oh, shit. Because, like, the Romulan warship coming in, it's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's the whole thing they designed. But, like, an actual Ferengi ship coming in, it's like, oh, shit. It, it, it's hilarious that it was a Romulan vessel, too, because they've been teasing the Romulans forever. But, no, they use the Romulans to tease the Ferengi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's swerve. Oh, great swerve right there. Yeah. yeah just, just great stuff. So yeah, love this one. Uh, we're going to discuss it more in depth. If that's available, that'll be uh, right here for you to click. If it's not yet, make sure to subscribe so you can check that out as soon as we post it and join us for this journey through all of Star Trek. Are you guys going to watch Deep Space Nine? Yes, we're watching all of it. <laughs>